Welcome to Building the Stocks app. This is the course where we build, you guessed it, the stock application. In this video particularly, I wanted to take some time to do an overview of the course, what you're going to be learning, who it's geared towards, who I am, and most importantly, why I put this course together. So let's get into it. So in this course, of course, obviously, we're going to be building out the stock application. It's going to match exactly Apple's stock application. For the most part, we're going to be hooking it up to get real time market data so we can render these beautiful graphs that you see here. We're also going to be creating our various custom pieces of UI. So, you know, all of these watch list elements and these news stories. Of course, we're going to add in search functionality to allow the user to search for different companies, different symbols, Apple, Snap, you know, Facebook, Google, any company you type in, we should be able to get their details. We're then going to jump into persistence where we'll talk about, you know, how do you add something to the watch list? How do you do a swipe to delete, but then also really delete it from the watch list such that if I go back to my app, I don't see it there anymore. So this is the app we're going to actually put together. Now, who is this geared towards? Why did I put this course together, in other words? So this course is really meant for those folks that have a fundamental understanding of Swift, and this is the time in their progression where they wanna build out a portfolio project that they can really show uh, when it comes time for an interview or when they apply for a job. Right, so think of this as a portfolio project, an interview showpiece, something you can build and then later also extend to make your own. So, you know, if you're in the market for a job or even if you're trying to build your own app and you want to see how to build a professional application with proper architecture, unit testing, and all the pieces involved in any professional development, you're in the right place. Now, who am I? My name is Afraz and I've been building iOS apps for the past 10 plus years now, almost going on 11. And I enjoy app building for a variety of reasons, but honestly, the main reason is you can just build something and hold it and that feeling is next to nothing else, right? It is magical to be able to build something on your computer and then hold it, interact with it, and even on top of that, distribute it in the App Store and have thousands, if not hundreds of thousands or millions of people use the thing that you built, whether you're sitting in your basement, you're sitting in an office, in your bedroom, literally the sky is the limit when it comes to iOS, and I've always been very passionate about it, and that's why I'm here today to teach this course. Now let's get into some more details about specifics, you know, what you're going to be learning, this and that. So we're going to start off with the watch list. Of course, this is the list where we have some default uh, companies you can view. You're going to actually see these charts we're going to create. You're going to see the various color calculations. So how we figure out if a stock is up or figure out if a stock is down, so on and so forth. The next thing, which I think is awesome, is this news panel. We're gonna talk about child controllers. We're gonna do an introduction to them, what the concept is, you know, why they're important, and how to use them. We're then gonna bring in a floating panel. The floating panel, we're gonna make it reusable for our different types of news, whether it's top stories, company specific. We'll talk about downloading images from a URL, so all of these story images you see here for the news. From there on, we'll talk about interacting with these cells here so we can actually tap on a news article and open it up right in the application such that the user isn't uh, you know, taken away or taken out of our app. From there, we're gonna talk about search, specifically search controllers, how to properly manage the relationship between your results controller, you know, searching, passing data around. We're gonna be optimizing the search so we can get these you know, real-time suggestions as the user types, but we're gonna be intelligent about it such that we don't make an API call per keyboard and input, so per key that the user presses. Now, once we have search, watch list, and news hooked up, 
it'll be time to dig into the stock details controller. So in this screen here specifically, we're gonna focus on the large form chart that you see here with a legend, with the actual axes, we'll have the related news for the you know company we're viewing underneath. We're also gonna show a add button to add the company to the watch list. It'll be conditional based on if the user already has it in their watch list or not. And we're gonna be covering a whole lot more like unit testing, haptics, optimization, and documentation, and the list goes on. So I'm super excited you guys are here. Hopefully this is the right course for you. I definitely think this is an awesome piece to get your portfolio or your job application started. I hope to see you guys in the course. Of course, the course is gonna have all the videos to walk through building out this application. It's gonna further have all the source code available for you to download and consume. That all said, I'll see you in the course. Thank you.